Hey yo, how you doing? We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna have a little fun and games, some might say. <clears throat> Pardon me. We'll do expert mode, cause I'm just AGDQ over here. I am gonna bring you, the viewer, the ultimate AGDQ experience. Ungodly gaming skills and horrible, horrible cringe. The greatest heroes have assembled. To face the greatest evil. Yeah, that's pretty neat that they got Optimus Prime as the, uh, the announcer in this game. The one and only Peter Cullen in this humble indie game. That must have been where all the budget went. That They got Peter Cullen and then they couldn't get any recognizable characters. All they could get is this forgettable indie stuff. Wait, Where's Mario? Where's Where's Tommy and Chucky and Phil and Lil and Frylock and Shake and Meatwad and Carl? Where are all the cool characters? Hmm. Some of these, I wonder if they just made them up for this game. I mean, I ain't never heard of no J Turbo, and I'm like a I'm like a gaming guy who knows all the stuff. If I don't recognize it, I very seriously doubt you will. Well, that's kind of a snotty thing to say. So anyway, here we go. It's Crystal Crisis. It's like Puzzle Fighter, but with different theming. Yeah. You're probably thinking, what's Puzzle Fighter? That analogy doesn't work for me. I don't know what that is either. Well, you see, dear viewer, Puzzle Fighter, it's, uh, it's like this, but with different theming. Yeah. Glad we cleared that up. So uh, each guy has a different special that they can do. So the the cool gamer on the on the right, his special uh, prevents me from doing a fast fall for several turns. So we just uh, we just gotta muscle our way through that. And um, yeah, there's two specials actually. See the other one, he drinks his epic gamer fuel and. Uh, well, I don't really know what that does, but uh, it's, it's doing something, I guess. I was never really an energy drinks guy, so to speak. I tried some at the at the work cafeteria many years ago, and... Ooh, yeah, look at that. Watch me smoke this clown. Oh, I guess he counterbalanced it. Never mind, if two people get a big combo at the same time, they cancel each other out. Gotta work around that, but anyway, yeah, um... Okay, here's my special. Look at that. I can manually edit the graph. Set up for the biggest combos this side of the Mississippi. We are just totally gonna smoke this clown. Provided we get a yellow eventually. So, um, yeah, at the, at the work cafeteria I tried some energy drink once and it, uh, unbeknownst to me I didn't read the warning label and it reacted funny with with my crazy pills and I was just totally destroyed once all that energy wore off. You see, it's uh, it's like the K.O. Ken technique as it were. It doesn't create new energy per se, but rather it just borrows it from the future. Or maybe think of it like this, viewer. Um, you remember that uh, anti-weed PSA from 2006 where the the cool hip youngsters, they, uh, they smoke at their weed and, um, and it makes them all deflated and disgusting looking and they're just these horrible human abominations and Jill hasn't been the same since she started smoking weed. And then the camera pans over and... Yeah, remember that commercial? Well, the energy drink I tried that day, it uh, basically made me feel like the aftermath of that. Gosh, I miss, I miss when commercials did wild and crazy stuff like that. We had good commercials in 2006. We had the deflated people anti-weed PSA, and we had that commercial for the PSP with the, the cartoon mice, and they say, The PSP, it's like cheese you can listen to outside. That, that really just spoke to me as a young person. That was what I needed in my, my bleak and unfulfilling life. I needed cheese that I could listen to outside. Sony gets me. Wow, Disney gets us. <laughs> 
So I was just thinking of that, <laughs> thinking of that Family Guy skit. <laughs> there's like a, it's it's, it's so, some Disney movie, and there's like there's like two cows wearing backwards hats and gold chains, and one cow says "you the cow," and the other cow says "no you the cow," and and it cuts to two black people in the theater watching it, and one of them says "wow Disney gets us." <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, that's the end of J Turbo. His his, uh, his journey ends here. He, he didn't seem to be getting back up, Morty. Bruh, so anyway, um, I've got a a new favorite uh, genre of YouTube video, by the way. For years, it was Let's Plays, and then after that, it was ASMRs, and. Now my new favorite thing is mentally ill people's vlogs. YouTube's really been just trying to push those on me lately, and I've seen enough of them that it's starting to, to grow on me. I've got this morbid fascination of just watching wackos start crying on camera, and just people at their ex just their total limit, and they, they, they certainly don't know who I am, but I get to see all of this stuff for some reason. It's just the, the magic of the internet. Anyway, I mean, it's not like crying on camera is some brand new thing. I mean, the big YouTubers do that all the time, you know. Boo hoo hoo, I only have three million subscribers. Like that kind of stuff, like forget that. I don't care about that kind of, you know, crying on camera. I like the real stuff from people with like 50 subs who just who just can't take it anymore and they decided to film it for some reason it's just fascinating to see where these people's lives are gonna go you know you need to stop calling me so anyway um you might be surprised to uh, to know that when this game was first announced it was uh, something of a controversy uh, people didn't like what was happening here not that there was anything wrong with the game necessarily, I think it's just dumbass people, you know. Being dumbass people and not even understanding what this was supposed to be. It's like if you, sorry, if you look at the uh, the comments on the first trailer, people are saying like, uh, This is an indie Smash Bros. And somebody's saying like, Just make Cave Story 2 already. And, it's like that. this was never intended to be Cave Story 2 to begin with, ya crazy fool. You, you, you're just looking at this and expecting it to be a completely different thing. I mean, how can the developers possibly meet your demands? It's just so dumb. It's like it's like you go to McDonald's and they hand you a burger and then you, you complain to the management and, What the hell is this? This isn't Dolly Parton. And, Nobody was saying that's what was going to be served, and also I think that's slavery. You can't do that. We serve burgers at McDonald's. This isn't shocking. That's basically the, what the reaction to this game was like. It's like, people, people, people. Yeah, take that. That's the way you do it, son. Like that Geico commercial with, uh, with Charlie Daniels and the... He starts playing the uh, the fiddle for the random man in the the restaurant. Well, wow, this episode's just reference tastic. All these things I've been referencing, you, you're probably watching this thinking, "What you talking about?" <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I was watching some uh, stand-up comedy the other day, and I just found it kind of amusing because the uh, the guy he was getting is a uh, his blood pressure done. Yeah, that's hilarious. Anyway, and uh, the doctor said it was high and he had to take his uh, medicine and the guy wasn't going to. And the doctor said, well, you fucking have to. Because, you know, I guess things are different in Australia and more strict about those things. Anyway, and he had the, the same test done later in, uh, in the UK and his blood pressure was the same as it was the last time, but the the UK doctor had a completely different reaction, basically saying, No, you're good, mate. And so uh, he had the realization that the key to staying healthy is to just keep moving to shittier countries until you become the healthiest man in all of Rwanda. 
I assume you, the viewer, are laughing at that. It's just silence on my end, so I can't gauge your reaction, but I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. Jim Jeffries is a funny guy. Go watch some of his stuff, maybe. Hey, you know, I got a funny idea. Let's let's do like the big Let's Players do and have some uh, some green screen related uh, shenanigans. You know how they'll say like uh, green screen out this particular color and put in uh, a video of this instead. Yeah, let's do that. Fucking dumb. Anyway, um, so the other character special is to, to scramble your business like that. And it also takes away all your crystals, that's the big thing. And speaking of specials, we haven't had the chance to see mine yet. Because I've got the one where I switch the screens. But it's tricky to get to because some characters need just one third of the meter, and then others it has to be full. And also, we haven't really had an opportunity where it was advantageous to do that. Because I'm just too good at the game. I don't need your damn help. Don't you look down your damn nose at me. Blech. So, uh, what's been going on with gaming news? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about gaming news, Morty! Um, uh, I think, do you see that thing that Sony's basically not gonna make any games for like the the next year? 365 days with no games? It's like, what are you fools even doing? What the hell are you doing? The PS5 that sold like, what, 50 million? And somehow that's not enough? 50 million in three years and 